In this video, we're gonna go over five epic transitions every editor should use. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you will get updates anytime we upload a brand new video. So with that being said, let's get started right after the intro. All right, everyone, now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, I want to mention that any of these transitions I'm gonna show you guys today can be used in any other software except for one, but I'll come back to that later because one is particular for Final Cut. It can be After Effects, can be Premiere Pro, any program that you desire. Number one, Woos transition. This is probably the most simple one. We're going to start off pretty simple with the boost transition. And this is basically a transition many people use in basically any kind of content. You can be used in vlogs. It can be used in short movies, anything like that. And that is basically the boost transition. So in order to recreate this, what we're going to do is I'm going to drag in two kind of clips. Doesn't really matter which one they are. I'm going to pick a little. I'm going to pick a different one. So let's let's pick I'm going to pick this horizon clip and I'm going to pick this bumps clip. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we will have this icon checked at the bottom automatic crossface because if you don't have that checked we will won't be able to create any kind of transition. So we're going to make sure that automatic crossface is checked. So if we now drag it over, this is basically your empty transition. This is now just going to be a fade as you can see because this is a standard thing that Vegas does when you drag footage over when you do this you want to decide how long you want your transition to be in case of the whoosh transition because whoosh transitions are fast because there is a really quick whoosh transition under it so that's what we're going to also add in later we're going to place this guy over right here i'm going to make the crossfade be for example 0.0a then let's play it back Okay, that looks really, really cool. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and hit transitions and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the slide one. And then we're going to pick the one that you like. I'm going to pick the slide out right left. I'm going to drag that on top of the transition. That's very important. Then if I play it back, this is what it looks like, as you can see. And you can even make it faster by just making this transition slower. So then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in a whoosh sound effect. You can find it on YouTube real easily. You can download it and then you can add it underneath it. Okay, so right here I have tons of swoosh, swish, whoosh sound effects. That's the name. So we're going to decide which one we, we want to pick. This one sounds very nice. So let's go ahead and drag that underneath it. Okay, then it's just a matter of timing. And usually most people will think that you have to align the sound exactly with the transition, but then you have to think that the transition needs to happen exactly when the footage moves and not necessarily the audio wave and the transition has to match up. You just want to replace it just a little bit like that. So a very cool transition and you can just, you know, for example, start background music when you have this one. Let me just drag in an NCS song. Right. So let's go ahead and lower the volume. Let's say that you're talking right here, for example, and then you want to make a transition, a boost transition. And then, for example, to another part of the video, then you can just do it real simple like this. A very cool transition, very basic, not too complicated. And that's the first epic transition that every editor obviously should use. Number two, trans zoom warp speed. Okay, guys. So at the beginning of this video, I said that there was one transition out of five you cannot use in Vegas nor any other program except then Final Cut Pro. If you're using an Apple device and you have Final Cut Pro, there is the trans zoom warp speed. You can pick this transition up for $29 right now. I think it's on a sale. You got to be honest. This is a paid transition. It's not for free, but look how intense and amazing it is. For example, if you want to refer to another video, 
or if you want to go ahead and create a flashback, for example, this transition is the transition you need. Nobody is paying me to say it is. This is just a really, really awesome transition. And guys, let me know in the comments if Vegas, for example, should do in future versions where they support, for example, like transitions for other software or convert it for Vegas. That would really, really be cool. This is the trans zoom warp speed. It's just really simple. You can implement that into your own editing and then you can just, for example, create, like I've mentioned, a flashback transition or if you want to refer to another video. Number three, BCC burned film. Right, so here we are on a transition that I think looks very, very cool. So this transition is part of the BCC plugin. This one is called the Burnt Film. So let's go ahead and pick some new footage. For example, these small tiles and then, for example, the vertical blinds. So every transition works the same. You just want to go ahead and decide how long you want it to be. And then we're going to go to the Transitions tab and we're going to look for Burnt Film, which is this one. So and and that is what it looks like. So we're going to drag it on the transition and this is what it looks like. This is just real, real slow, but as you can see, it is kind of burning through the footage. It is that awesome. And it's a transition to another video and you can just make it real simple and real fast. Also, for example, like that, just a little bit faster. And what's really cool about this transition is that you can actually customize this. For example, like, oh, the orange, this one, I just want to have it a little bit more fiery and a little bit more red. You can just drag it in there and really make it look like it's burning, for example. So let's go ahead and put the flare color a little bit more to the orange side of things. The chair color, for example, a little bit more brownish. For example, that it's really burning through it. So let's go ahead and play it back right now, now that we customized it a little bit. As you can see, it's really burning through the footage. And you can also go ahead and position, you know, the holes and everything. You can also adjust the flare amount and the chair amount like that. It's looking so, so nice. And this is part of the BCC plugin. It's one of my favorites, but I don't really use it that often since it doesn't really fit in, you know, in my sort of content. But this one is a really, really cool one. And you can mess around with this. You can adjust all kinds of settings to make it to your own wants and needs. And this is basically the BCC burnt film. Every editor should at least know. Number four, glitch transition. All right, so this is the glitch transition. And if you guys paid close attention to my intro, I also used the glitch transition in the introduction segment. So what you want to do is you don't want to necessarily, you know, create a transition and place these guys over it. But what we need to do is download some glitch footage off of YouTube. And as you can see right now, if I go ahead and create a new video track and place the glitch on top of it, we can now decide which part of the glitch do we want to use. I'm going to pick this and that. So now that we have this part, we're going to place it on top of it. So let's play it back. That looks really, really nice already, but we're going to make a few changes. First of all, we're going to just do some details and we're going to add in a fade in offset for about 0.03 and then also at the other one at the end. And then we're going to create a mini crossfade and then we're going to go ahead and put the compositing mode of the glitch track to screen like that so we can see through the glitch. So let's play it back right now. As you can see, that looks really, really nice. And obviously you can make it a little bit longer if you want to. And obviously you can add in sound effects and make it real or real cool. So the glitch transition is also a very quick transition. If you don't want to overuse any kind of transitions, the glitch transition is always fitted to use into your video. It doesn't really matter what kind of content it is. If you want to have a real, real quick transition. Number five, Sam Calder zoom. 
All right, for the last transition, we have the Sam Calder zoom. Now, last year I made a video about that. I will link down in the description and it is basically really cinematic. And I'm going to just roll a video over it right now so you guys can see it. This is what the transition looks like. And instead of showing you guys it right there in this video and make it another 15 minutes like I usually would, I would highly recommend to check out the link in the description there. You can watch the video to the Sam Calder transition and this transition just looks really, really nice. It is just done with a little bit of zooming, a little bit of keyframes, and that's something I can recommend for sure if you wanna go ahead and approach some little more, you know, cinematic transitions, not necessarily fast ones, but just cinematic, and the Sam Calder transition is pretty, pretty known under the editors, and guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will see you guys in a brand new video on Wednesday. You don't wanna miss out make sure to share this video with other editors and let them see them let them know their opinion that's it and i will see you guys in my next video <laughs>